Hi Phoebe, this video is for you. So in this video, I'm just going to show you um, another way to make hair lotion at home DIY fashion. So um, for this, you're just going to need obviously the oils and the butters um, that you want to use along with aloe vera gel and then whatever container you want to mix it in. Now if you're planning on actually putting your hair lotion in like a lotion bottle that squirts or that you have to pump, then I would recommend also having a plastic bag and using that to line whatever dish that you're mixing it in so that when you're done mixing, you can just squeeze it into your uh, lotion container. Um, also, I would recommend if this is your first time doing the mix and you're playing around with the ingredients or the ratios of things, to go ahead and do the, do the liner method. That way you can let your product sit and see if it'll actually stay at the consistency that you want it to because you don't want to put something um, into a spray bottle or a lotion bottle that's just going to re-solidify and then you have to find a way to get it back out of that bottle. So you want to make sure it's going to stay the way that you want it to be before you stick it in the bottle. In the end, the container that I want to put my product in is this um, 5 ounce bottle that was for baby oil gel that MT and I washed out. So what I'm going to do is just take the cap off the bottle and um, get an idea of how much organic aloe vera gel I want to put in this bottle. Um, it's not exact measurements and that's also one of the reasons why I recommend doing the liner method just to um, cover all your bases. But I'm just going to pour this into the bottle. There's about, you can see, this is the bottle. And I'd say it's about, you'd call it halfway full, but given the shape of the bottle, it's not really probably half of the contents of the container. So then I pour it into my container where I'll be mixing. So um, the next thing you want to do is grab your spoon and your butter and your oils. And um, when I say your oils, I mean basically the things that are solid at room temperature. So coconut oil is pretty much solid at room temperature until you get into like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, something like that, in the upper levels of that, and then it starts to liquefy. So right now, as you can see, mine is solid. That's why I need a spoon. And um, my shea butter is also solid at room temperature, and any other butter you'd want to use in replace of it is great too. All I do is, I'll take about a spoonful, heaping spoonful of the coconut oil. And another little bit. Stick that into my mixing container. Grab my shea butter. Okay. And just scoop out however much I would like. Now for this, you're going to want to have um, oils and that are liquid at room temperature um, more in your product than the ones that are solid at room temperature because you're shooting for a lotion and not a cream or a pomade or something like that. So, once you have all of that into your little baggie, go ahead and add whatever essential oil you want to add for um, preservation or just for scent. I'll be using rosemary essential oil um, this time. And, you know, just put a couple drops. It doesn't really matter how much. There's no need to go crazy, though. And then so when I'm done with that, I have this container, which is just full of hot water. I take my bag out of the container, seal it well, and then I just put my butter and oil that are in the bag into the hot water. And I'm going to let it sit there for, you know, a couple of minutes just to warm up so that I can mash it with a spoon as opposed to um, feeling the need to get out a um, electric hand. Okay, so after it's sat for a few minutes, 
it looks like this. You're going to be able to really just smush everything that's in the bag easily with your fingers. Um, to be honest, this is the way I do it, but most people probably don't want to like spend time squishing stuff together with their fingers. So at this point, you can always um, grab your container and stick your baggie back in the container and then just open the bag up and mix it with a spoon. Alright, so now you're at the point where you can add whatever um, leave-in conditioner you're using um, for a creamy base. I am using Garnier Fructis Sleek and Shine leave-in conditioner, but you can use any conditioner um, you like, especially if you're shooting for um, all natural products, and so you can find one of those and stick it in there instead because this is definitely not all natural. But it's really an eyeball thing. You take it and you squirt it into your container. Okay, so this. Well, you can't really see that. Okay, but you get the idea. This is about how full the container is now. Get an idea. This is how full the baggie is now. With the leave-in conditioner, the shea butter, the coconut oil, and the aloe vera gel. At this point, you can just add whatever oils that you're fond of to your mixture. So... I'm going to take a little bit of castor oil, stick that in there, a little bit of vitamin E, some vegetable glycerin, and some grapeseed oil. So now that's all that's left really is to mix your product well. This is pretty much the consistency right now of what I'm working with. And there's what it looks like in the bag. One of the benefits, or excuse me, one of the benefits to using um, a leave-in conditioner that's already formulated is that it has some preservatives and it also has emollients that are already in it. So that's gonna help your oil mixture to mix in better with the little makeshift product you're making. Um, you know, depending on which product you use, it may separate, but um, the whole, I guess the whole emphasis is that it's going to stay, um, you know, liquid, more liquidy and so all you have to do when you're ready to use your product is just shake it well and everything will mix back together um, evenly and you get all the benefits of everything that you put oh, in. Oh, and just as a side note, um, the reason why I do it in hot water in a baggie as opposed to um, waves as you've seen other people do it by melting it down on the stove in the microwave is because... Um, is because uh, sometimes, uh, depending on what you're using, like with the shea butter and the other oils, melting it down, especially um, at too high temperatures, is going to destroy some of the properties of um, what you're putting in your product. So, when you've got everything together, oops, sorry, Diamond. Take your bag. Feel it. Work everything out of one corner. Snip the end off that corner.
there you have it. Homemade hair lotion. Now, excess that's left in the bag, just leave it there and use it first um, as you need it. It'll just squeeze easily right out of the hole in the bag, so all you really need to do is move it away from the hole in the bag, and then if you want, put like a hairpin or something to close the hole, and put it somewhere where it, where it can sit until you need it.